All right, here we go. Man, I had some issues connecting to uh, Twitch today. I don't know what's going on. I had to do a lot of weird stuff. But here we are, back with some Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's been a while, didn't get streamed last week, so here we go. It's gonna feel like it's been years since we played, as always. Uh, I have added or created an account for World of Trucks, which is supposedly something cool uh, and should potentially give us different types of job in the game. I uh, don't know exactly know how to access those. They might show up if we go into the job market. World of Trucks delivery using your own equipment. Okay. A record of these deliveries is stored to your World of R Trucks profile. Okay, we might try that out, but let's just start off with a regular one. Let's see how we're doing. Uh... On sleep and fuel and all that. Well, all right. Now I gotta remember how to do everything. Okay, we're half sleepy. Might as well sleep, I think. Unless we can take a short little job here. Um, almost six hours though. Checks so everything is correct set up here. Yes, seems good. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can... How do we... Hmm. It's been a while. <laughs> uh... You're on truck, yes. Oh yeah, so we're gonna try to head south. Let's see if we can take a short job where we can sleep afterwards. See if there's anything heading south. That's a seven hour trip time though, that's a little bit too much, unless we can sleep on the job. We do have almost 24 hours to make this. So yeah, let's just do it, shall we? Unless there is a super short one, eh. Alright, let's do that. Uh, we know for a fact that it's gonna be tricky though. Uh, it's usually way slower than the predicted time, so... Let's say eight hours to make sure, and eight hours sleep, that's 16. And we're gonna have two hours to spare, which is gonna be tight probably, but doable. And hopefully this is somewhat close by as well. Yeah, 28 minutes, all right. Let's see if I can remember anything about how to play this game. Start the car up, lights on. All right, so far, so good. Too many cars. And also... Is this... Why are there so many cars? It's absolutely insane. I'm gonna have to go here. Alright, wasted half an hour just getting out of the freaking parking lot. That's always good. Oh god, I'm not even braking. Oh, good start. Let's run away. I swear to god, they're increasing the traffic every time we're playing now. Um, I used to have a mod installed with increased traffic density, but it was like this at the minimum, always. So I did remove that, but now it seems like they have actually added some more traffic, which is good. But when you're on a tight schedule, it is actually very, very difficult. Why is he stopping? Oh my god. 
Because he's turning left. So look at that car all the way in front. He's turning left, but he's stopping already there. So that's probably how the AI expect me to stop. That's why they stop as well. When you're, uh... When you're facing them in an intersection. So every time you drive a little bit further up, they just stop. Ah. So one car get across here. That's absolutely insane. That's not what you want to see. Not really. And not a single car drove... What? Okay, that was a little bit, a little bit too early to break. I'm not staying on my side of the road, but that's okay. That's uh, that's not something you have to do, right? It's just a recommendation. I think that's how it works. I'm assuming it's 50 here. So it's going to be interesting to see what the World of Trucks might do for us. It did say with your own equipment. Don't know if we always need to use our own truck, but that that doesn't really make... Well, our truck, of course. But if we need our own trailer as well, then we're actually not going to see any super interesting um, heavy cargo then. Because we don't have any special equipment for that, so we'll see. Uh, could be that they're just expressing it in a very vague way. Probably not 90 for me, to be honest. So let's drive 80 maybe? This is interesting. I thought I missed the pickup, but we activated. Okay, that wasn't money. Oh yeah, so this was not actually the place. This was just a gate into another road, and then this is the place. I haven't seen this before. That's very interesting. That was probably the wrong gear. I couldn't see what gear I was in. Okay, here we go. Uh, how do we do this? There we go. <clears throat> It's still available, and Friday 9.55. Yeah, it's gonna be close, but let's, let's do it. I didn't line that up very well. Probably fine though. Oops, a little bit... A little bit too 
horse. Okay, let's go. I always doubt my math when we're doing these type of deliveries where I'm not having... Well, basically every time we have to sleep during a ride or delivery, I'm always a little bit hesitant if I'm if my calculations have been correct. Uh, but they usually are. But then again, sometimes we do get surprised in a positive way. And we somehow have like six hours to spare or something, which is very strange. Uh, but it does happen. Ah, I probably could have started driving there. And the bus is... Stop. Are you kidding me? Why? What is wrong with these guys? What the... Why are you... Jesus, why... Why would they stop and then start driving? They're absolutely insane. They're absolutely insane. Even the guys across. I feel like this has become worse. Jesus Christ. What the heck? What? Oh, I, I'm screwing up quite badly here. Ah, too much confusing. confusion. Confusion. Now, well, yeah, I'm pressing uh, shift in between the two gear sets every time I'm shifting. That's not what you do. I'm using it like a clutch. Which is not how it works. Alright, let's focus. Why were there two sets of 70 signs right next to each other? Very strange. There was no new road coming in. There probably is a road in the real world, and they're just basing uh, the road signs off of that, I would think. Are you? I'm very confused about traffic today. What are they doing? Why is he stopping? Jesus Christ! They're absolutely... They're absolutely insane today! What the hell is happening? <sighs> Hello, dude Lovsky. How are you doing? It's Sunday indeed, and we got some crazy AI driving already. It's been absolutely insane. Every single intersection so far, it's been wild. Okay. Whew. All right. New mods and stuff. No, I've added nothing. The only thing I've done is create a World of Trucks account. I haven't touched the buttons inside of the game for that yet, but I've just <laughs> created an account for that. So we're going to try that out, but I, I wanted to do a couple of deliveries um, in this reading first, and then we can check those uh, deliveries out later on. So I'm not sure still if I need to use my own trailer. From what I could tell from the text, that seems to be the case. Uh, so then we need to get a trailer off of one of our um, drivers. That seems strange though, if that is the case. I, I might have misread or something. Come on. I feel like the red lights 
Yeah, something is wrong with the traffic. Every time... It's like there is only traffic... In the direction we're going or something. It seems weird today. And I actually don't know if there's been an update or anything like that. I don't think there has been. I'm also slipping uh, down by the pedals. I got a cord uh, right below my foot for some reason. That is fucking up my... Um friction a little bit. Was ambitious hitting the ninth gear right there. It's a little bit too much. There we go. as a surprise. Didn't really check my left side there, but I feel like the road was clear when we were coming up to it. Well, is it 50 or still? I guess it is. It's not carried away here. Looking in the small mirror, I remembered. It's all clear. Mm hmm. <sighs> now, I saw that there was a speed limit sign. I didn't read it, I just saw it. It's probably 70. Seems reasonable. No, you can only use your truck also. Okay, perfect. Uh, because uh, when you're looking at the job descriptions, uh, not the job descriptions, but when you're picking what type of job you're uh, gonna get or take. When you're picking the regular job that isn't with an assigned truck, it says get a job using your own truck. But then for the World of Trucks things, it says get a job using your own equipment. So it sounded like everything has to be provided by you. Uh, I, I guess there's... It's just badly descriptive. De badly description? Ah, whatever. Fuck. I can think. I'm still... I'm having a cold. I've been working all day. I'm tired. Ah, my brain is a mess. Uh, we'd assume we have like three hours left before we need to sleep. Eh, uh, four hours almost. How are we looking at gas, actually? Oh, pretty bad. Uh, let's have a little look at the map here because we need to fuel up as well. We can almost make it actually all the way, but we won't be able to do that. How long is this? That's in two and a half hours, three hours almost. That's good. And distance, 535. Uh, we're not gonna make it, so... Um, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be coming from here. This seems fine. Oh, 
Well, that was very lucky that I thought about that before we drove past here. Okay, here we go. Oh, my wife is still with us. Nice. She hasn't given up hope. She's a believer. Wife, tell me if there is anyone coming. This is going great today. I'm driving smooth as hell. <clears throat> It's clear. And I mentioned this before, but every time I have more than a week in between sessions, it's it's so wonky driving. It's like I've never done it before. It's so strange. <sighs> Let's try to enjoy the nice scenery as well. Now it might have... yeah. So we saw that there, it was 70 signs, but then there was also like a no speed limit sign. So I don't know if we actually are allowed to drive faster, but I probably shouldn't drive too fast. It's gonna be slightly winding roads here, so... I I'm not trying to drive this fast. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize if we were driving downhill. Holy moly. It's insane. I, I gotta be honest, I don't understand uh, speed limit signs sometimes. I mean, I understand them fine, but when we go from 70 to 50, shouldn't that be marked with two signs, one of each side? That might just be a Swedish thing, so uh, I might be reading too much into what I know. Same here, when we go to from a speed to a different one, it should be marked on both sides. Jobs are coming up as jobs are coming up as how what you have truck okay okay so if I have a trailer attached it's gonna show jobs with a trailer and if I don't have a trailer attached okay I see okay that's nice Alright, not too bad road so far. It's been a little bit winding, but uh, we have seen worse down in these regions. And man, I completely forgot about there was a quarry or a super long gravel road that I was supposed to check out. Ah, fuck. Do I remember where we started this trip from? No. Well, I'm gonna have to look at the map, see if we can find that again. It seems cool. Hello, level one. DLC. Well, potentially one of the DLCs? Yes. I uh, know new stuff from the uh, last couple of weeks. I actually don't remember what's included in the base game. Is it just Germany? It's gotta be more than Germany, right? I don't remember. Okay, hopefully... Alright, now we gotta <laughs> be a little bit more careful here. I do like that we have two uh, lanes here. Well, we had. That's nice. And 
I just gotta make sure... I think we need to make a big turn into a new road. Yes, yeah, so after all of this jazz, that's when we can ref... Well, we already refueled. So there's a sleeping that's gonna be an issue, yeah. So we should clear that one and just put another one here. What? Okay, I can't do that. Let's clear that and put one here, I guess. Road looks awesome, yeah. I, I mean, I just love driving down in these parts of Europe. It's been the best road so far. And apparently Spain and such should be pretty good as well. I still haven't bought that yet. I feel like we, we have a couple of roads here to uh, discover still. I wonder how the roads in American Truck Simulator is going to be. Because I feel like it might just be a lot of, you know, long straight roads through the desert with nothing to see. I feel like it's going to be more of that. I mean, definitely more than in this game, of course, but uh, how much? And I also don't know which states are in that game. It's not too many, I believe. Checking iPad while driving, hmm? Well, I... well... yeah. I didn't check the iPad, I checked the map. That's not much better, I gotta, I gotta say. But you know, it, just imagine that I have a map in my lap, and I'm just... Looking down. Uh, actually, what happened? What happened was that I was asking my wife if she could tell me where um, the next rest stop was. That's what happened. Nothing else. No illegal activities here. Okay, this is a little bit confusing, but wait, why? Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. I, I'm going to trust in the GPS here. This looks strange. I think it's because we're making the stop. And... We need to get back on the... I don't know, we'll see. That looks weird. As hell. I might have fucked something up. I don't know. We'll see. Small mirror for the win. So, yeah, one and a half hour. Might as well just do the sleeping right now. Get it over with. This is it right here. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stop here. I might not be standing in the correct spot, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, it's pretty dark, I gotta say. How do we leave? That's a good question. Do we have any good answers? Maybe? I'm doing everything in such a bad way. Mostly because my foot is slipping on a cable down on the floor. That would have been really dangerous in a in an IRL situation. So is the game actually trying to make me go back again? Is that what's happening? I don't understand this. Hmm. 
It's very strange. Is it because we still have a marker here? No, the marker is gone because we've traveled through it. Maybe I could have gone two different ways to get down here. And maybe that's the case here. I don't understand why it chose the way it does. Uh, but yeah. Whatever. I guess. I don't know what cord it is that is on the floor. Very strange. I might need a bigger map here. Uh. <clears throat> so I feel like I should turn left here, not right. Am I stupid? Why is... We're heading to... What? I mean, left gotta be right. Not direction-wise, of course. I'm gonna trust the destination rather than what the game is telling me to drive here. It might be that I have a marker somewhere that hasn't been cleared or whatever. We picked up the trailer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it could have been that I forgot that, but no, I sh should be left. Very strange. It isn't arrows on the other side. Yeah, I wasn't really looking at the arrows. I was just looking on the blue uh, stretch of road where... And also here it told me to go right, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, there's probably some reason for all of this, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what speed limit we have here. Probably shouldn't drive too fast. It was like a 70 road. I begin 50. We can say that it is a bug. Yep. <laughs> Let's call it a bug. I mean, it's gotta be a bug. Left is always right. Right. Makes sense. Apparently it's not 50 anymore. I must have missed a sign. Your truck racing next. Well, I mean, I technically you could race in this game in a way. When you drive without a trailer, you can drive pretty fast. Take the turns pretty well. Well, not with my current truck. It's actually pretty hard to uh, drive smooth with. Yeah, and my math was uh, correct.
Oh, I guess we have the uh, tall things here. I kind of forgot about that. So even if we have a lot of time to spend, that's a good thing. Because it usually takes an hour or two more to get through these sections. Okay, that was an x-ray inspection. I, I gotta be more careful looking at signs and stuff for that. I assumed it would be something. I thought it might be a way station. Uh, let's see, do we have a fast lane? No, I think they need to see our papers and whatnot. Okay. Take it. Oh, that was fast. Everything is in order. All right. That's good. So we're crossing into Turkey right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, I'm dying. Yeah, we are. All right. Please pull in for a vehicle inspection at the nearest way station. Oh. Where might that be? Okay, there is a way station. S okay, this might be it actually. Perfect. Wow. I guess I chose the correct lane here. That was perfect. I think this is it. Don't remember if we need to stop or just drive slow. Is that it? Okay. I kind of wish you got the information that you were all okay before you started driving out of there. In case you missed it. Is this actually how it is? on these borders, that you need to check your papers, both leaving a country and then entering a country. That seems strange. I mean, the... Seems more reasonable to only check for entering a country, right? I might be wrong about that. I don't know. Now, oh, more stops. I feel like I'm... well, that's fine. Oh god. <laughs> Never look to the side, I guess. It's a new strat. Well, probably a good thing we had a couple of hours to spare. Well, so far so good with uh, not getting any tickets at least. It's always something. I gotta say, the small mirror, ever since we kind of uh, changed the angle on that one, that has been a lifesaver. 
Maybe the angle was actually fine before, and I was just bad at using it. That could very well be it. I feel like ever since I started using it, you can actually see pretty, pretty well if you can drive or not. The stations between Norway and Sweden, oh, but are there actually checks for for both leaving and entering the countries? <clears throat> because I, I mean, usually when I leave Sweden, it's either to Denmark or Germany. That's mostly where I travel to. And I was about to say I take boat to both places. Well, that used to be the case before they built a bridge between Malmo and Copenhagen. Uh, but I mean, if we drive to... If we drive to Copenhagen, there's no... Well, there's actually no checking of anything. Either entering or leaving countries. Don't know if that's because it's EU countries, both of them, or if... We're just sweet, sweet neighbors, you know? And the same with Germany, if we take the boat over. There is no passport check, I think, at all. Might be different for, uh, you know... Uh, trucks and stuff like that. They need to have all their papers in order, so I mean, it makes sense. From, uh, from that standpoint, I think. Okay, I might be in a bad spot here. I might be covering up all the road behind us here. <clears throat> eh, he can wait. He has all the time in the world. You're gonna stop, right? Norway isn't EU. Oh, that's right. Well, that explains the border check then, probably. But how was it before uh, the whole EU thing then? Because I feel like all the Scandinavian countries always like, eh, come in. You know, we're neighbors, we're friendly. You can borrow some sugar if you want to. But then EU came in the way. So how much time did we actually lose there? And eh, not too much. We had like 5.45 spare time, I think. Well, that was the remaining time. Eh, it's kind of hard to tell. <clears throat> and I can remember having to show my passport traveling to Germany for the whole EU thing. That I can remember. N never going to Denmark, though. But that might be incorrect. Maybe you actually had to show your passport for entering the country. I might misremember that. And I remember back in the day, there were boats going between Malmo and Copenhagen. And they were kind of fast, it took like 45 minutes or something. Perfect amount to just eat a sandwich and uh, have a drink. 
and buy some candy maybe. Now, there's no boats. There's only the bridge. So now we gotta take the train. It's so boring. It's faster though. I gotta say, this, this trip has, it, yeah, I don't know, for some reason, every time we're doing trips on roads that are not freeways, it always feels like the trips are way longer. Even though, what was it, like a six, seven hour trip, something like that? And I mean, we've done longer than that, but this feels longer. I think it's just because you have to do a lot of things while driving, which is a good thing. So it feels like you're more involved, probably. And if you're just driving on a freeway, probably my mind wanders a little bit. And you don't sense the time, really. That's probably it. Look at that lonely house up there. Okay, that truck changed lanes. I think I need to do that as well. No, I'm not allowed to drive straight forward. We still got some speed here. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. I did that poorly. Uh, all my mechanical skills today has been mm, not great. Why? Why? I'm even in the correct lane, I'm using my signal, and he still just drives out right in front of me. What the fuck is wrong with AI today? And other days, as well. I mean, he kind of made it out there, so maybe it was fine, but if I would have driven a little bit faster... Wouldn't have been good. Okay, we're actually here. No, that seems rough. Let's just take this one. I think this is a 
new type of place. I don't think I've been to this uh, very place before. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Excellent. Okay, that was high value. Nice. All right, I gotta fix a couple of things here. I gotta check out what the cable is on my foot, and uh, I will, I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> uh, we might as well check out these uh, extra jobs then, see how they work. Uh, we should be good on sleep and fuel. And also I kind of want to see, see. Do I remember where we started today? Okay, okay, this is the road. Uh, so let's see if we can find something heading up in this direction. There's got to be a delivery out here, right? Yeah, there is something. Um, because this seems interesting. If it's a gravel road, it's probably very annoying driving there. But it actually doesn't look smaller than any regular countryside road, so it's probably not gravel road, right? But it seems interesting. Uh, you kind of need to plan ahead a little bit. Because I doubt there's going to be... Yeah, there's no place to fill up on gas. There's nowhere to sleep. Unless there is a sleeping spot here, which I can't see. So even if you can make it out there with a the delivery, you also need to make it all the way back. Very far from anything. Um, But yeah, alright. Freight market, is that what I'm looking for? I'm always confused when I open the map, because everything seems different. So let's look at this. Profile is not connected to World of Trucks. To be able, okay, why is it not connected? I just did this. Maybe there is a... Uh... You gotta log in on the first menu. Okay, I missed that. Well, I'm not gonna do that today then, because uh, every time when I start the game, it takes like 10 minutes to start uh, the game up. Uh, register? I am registered though. Can I not just log? Oh, I should be able to log in from here, right? Yeah. This hides my thing, it does. Hmm, I'm fortunate that my password is just 12 access. Hmm, so now you actually can see it. Damn it. And this should all be the same, that's fine, right? <clears throat> Uh, yes. Okay, so the heavy cargo pack is actually a DLC. I think I knew that. Uh, but we don't have those. So yeah, just connect them, I guess.
Congratulations. Thank you. And... There are some of my mods making the loading up of the game super slow. Because this is not how it's supposed to be. I don't know which it is, though. <clears throat> okay, it's, it's not as bad as when I first start the game up, though, so that's nice. That's good. Do I have to do this every time, or am I always logged in now? Uh, we'll see. Okay, let's see if this works now. Okay. And we got the same map, of course, and I guess it's just different types of jobs, right? It seems very similar to what we've done before. Is there anything uh, interesting? No. So let's see, I wanted to get to maybe here, if that's possible. Yeah, it's so hard to go where you want to go. Oh, that's interesting, though. Oh, let's do that. All the way to that map. Let's do that. Begin delivery. Um, wait, what? I don't know how this works, so I'm just gonna move my truck. Because we do have a trailer right behind us here. So I don't know if it's just gonna f fuck up the physics or something. If we just all of a sudden get a trailer behind us, let's stay clear here. Oh, oh fuck, I need, okay, I see, Jesus, okay. I need to, yeah, fuck, I probably need to do as I always do, or? I you need to click on the city. Yeah, I can't zoom in, so I don't know if there's a city on my marker. There's a blue dot. I guess there's fewer cities to pick stuff up, maybe. I'm a little bit confused. How does the regular jobs look? Yeah, so I'm not sure if there is anything right there. If I click... There seems to be something, because it changes. If I do... If I do this, and then click on my marker. So these jobs should be from the place I'm at. That's a short one. <clears throat> Okay, so that job still exists, I'm hoping. Let's see, synchronizing, okay. Okay, so I'm not just connected. I mean, still need to pick it up, I see. Makes sense. Can we drive this way around? No, probably not. Well, maybe. No problem. I didn't check the time or anything like that. Maybe I should have done. Maybe. Ooh, wow! I could not turn because of the gravel. That was insane. 
Uh, let's just double check so we can actually do the job. Can I see which one I chose? Wasn't that one. I can't find it because I took it. Oh, fuck. Well, let's hope it's fine then. I mean, it shouldn't show me the thing. I need to sleep again though, what the fuck, we just slept. I'm always surprised by the sleeping in this game. Sometimes you can do like three delivers without sleeping and then you can do barely half. Remains seven hours. Okay, we should be able to wait. It's only a two hour drive. Is that true? Well, three actually, but still. Okay. And it's fine. That was sloppy. That was sloppy indeed. Not checking that before. The amount of turning you cannot do on the gravel is bonkers. This is weird, that was kind of a roundabout, but not really. But it was, but not really. So now you have much more jobs to choose from, yeah. So that could be good if we're actually trying to go to a specific place, I guess. Uh, if we don't find anything amongst the regular jobs. Uh, is there any difference in payment and stuff like that? Is it better doing the world of trucks? What is the main difference actually? Is it just more jobs and... Are they created by players or... I don't really see the point of world of trucks. Other than the fact that it gives you more jobs, sure. But why has someone created it? There might be more to it than just standard deliveries, of course. More jobs that's online, that's everyone is seeing them. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Is the pool of jobs, is that a, com well, is that a shared pool between all players? So if I pick this job up, no one else can do this very delivery. Is that how it works? Yeah, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. So you can actually lose jobs even if you're on time for them if someone else just picks them up. Which is... Maybe annoying, but also kind of realistic, I guess. How's the payment? Is it, uh, does it, uh, is it similar to the regular game or is it different? 
Also, are we carrying heavier stuff here? No, 20 tons. Milk. Yeah, it's all the same. Feels like, I mean, this could be a regular job in the game, for all I care. Double check the time here again. Yeah, should be fine. So we went from 90 to 70 to 50, then there was a crossed over 50 sign. That has to mean that it's 70 again, right? Or maybe the crossed over is always max. I still don't know all these uh, speed limit signs. <clears throat> I think it's actually 90. So I guess whenever there is a crossed over, it's just go ahead, drive fast. It's definitely not 70. The cars are driving 90 at least. Probably just 80 for me. It could be 90. I, 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 I wish I remember which countries actually had 90. Uh, but I'm probably going to stick to 80 in most cases. I think France? Or was it Italy? France or Italy has... Or bro, hmm, Belgium maybe. Or some countries having 90 for trucks. Maybe England. I mean, I, I, I can name all the countries. Some of them will be correct. This truck is just stuck in limbo, it seems like. What is it doing? Not the first time we've seen that. I guess he was kind of in the wrong lane. Yeah, he was going straight forward. So I guess cars are driving around him. And he gets stuck because of that. Interesting. What? Is this a way station? Looks like. Your vehicle is not in per what the- why would you complain about that? Jesus Christ, just some wear and tear. And now I am... fucked. Because of that. Or? I will see. It actually looks like this connects to the same uh, place anyway. Yeah, I think we would have ended up here. Anyway.
So we got two di <coughs> Right. We got two different symbols here. I think all of them are uh, speedy. Right? Yeah. And since we were actually turning right here, which I didn't know, this was perfect. Intuitive driving at its best. Italy has 90. Yeah. I remember saying it out loud a couple of times when we were in those countries. Oh, I gotta remember this. Because I might want to drive here more often. But then, I didn't remember it anyway. And also, we've been trying not to drive on the freeways, you know. I think England actually was one of the countries with 90, which was surprising to me. And Germany was like 80, which was also surprising, that it wasn't just whatever speed you like. Practice my looking away while still looking at the road. Yeah, worked pretty well. Are we actually going to Istanbul? Is that our destination here? Yeah, it is. A little bit slow here, Jesus. Just lost all speed. Okay, looks like a cool city. So I don't know if I'm supposed to go in either one of these lanes. I think both are fine. But in, you know, in reality, maybe I am supposed to go in. Oh, okay. Could that be the HGS? Which is vehicle inspection. Stuff at the scale ahead. Yeah, but where is it? Somewhere. I'm gonna complain about my tires again. I 
Your vehicle is not in perfect technical state. Be more careful next time. <laughs> Jesus. It's not that bad. It can't be. <clears throat> grumpy old driver, yeah. Well, it's grumpy old fucking uh, inspection men. You know, I've been driving on the road. Of course there's gonna be... It's not gonna be factory uh, quality on the tires. What the hell? Of course there's gonna be one or two birds in the front of a truck, you know? What happens on the road? My guy was actually yawning, so we lost some time here, it seems like. Uh, but yeah, we're almost there. It's fine. Why is this guy just... I'm not even going to try to pronounce these uh, names on the signs. We got some weird stuff happening on the minimap here again. What is the point of all of this? Oh, okay. What the heck? I guess. Is this a one or a two way street? I don't know. Let's assume it's a two way street. No, it's probably a one. Well, I actually don't know. Okay, this was interesting. That was not beautiful. I did not expect that to be a turn right there. Some nice flowers on the bridge. I'm assuming that's... stop. Uh, I guess I'm... just going here. A lot of turning. This would have been a good uh, road for a, um, for a rally. Racing. Oh, wait a minute. Is it here? It is here. My guy is yawning, so I'm hesitant doing this. So I'm actually just gonna take an easy one as well. I think we're kind of okay. But you never know, if I start fucking it up, we might be here for uh, two hours. 
So once we're in better shape, we're gonna do some fancy parking. All right, our first online job, well executed. Didn't get an experience, but that was also a very short uh, thing. Um, so we did get some proficiency bonus. I'm assuming there are the regular buffs, if you choose correctly. I would assume so. Uh, we gotta sleep first of all and fix our vehicle. Let's see if we can do both. No. Oh no. What is this city? Okay, it's a big city, I guess. I guess we're gonna make our way over here. Yeah. Well, uh, 18 minutes, that should be fine, right? I would think so. Yeah. Wow, he's yawning one and a half hour before we need sleep. Isn't that a little bit too much? I thought it was at one hour. I mean, I guess it's good that he started yawning early. Uh, so I think he started at the two hour mark, actually. And that's usually enough to potentially get to a sleeping place. So I mean, that's fine, but it's also kind of annoying having to listen to the yawning for two hours, I gotta say. Can't really tell if there is traffic coming here, but. The problem with driving when there's a lot of turns is that the second I need to shift from my higher gears, I can't really do it at any given time. Gotta figure out a way. Maybe I should just have a mouse button or something as well. So I can use my right hand to actually swap to those gears. Okay. Wasn't ready for that. I think there was an accident behind me. No, that's in the track. In the song. Jesus. Okay. Everything is fine. Why is it every time I try to drink or something, there's always a, a turn coming up? <sighs> I think if I can just find the perfect amount to break when we're slowing down to 50, it would be good, because I'm always losing a little bit too much speed. So we're going from 70 or something like that. And I always break a little bit too hard, bring us down to 40, maybe even 30 sometimes. 
So I need to be a little bit more precise when I'm doing the braking. And I can't really see what the speed limit sign says until we're really close. I mean, a lot of times you can understand if it's going up or down in speed, so... Usually we can prepare a little bit better. And once again we're seeing one of these cities that are actually a little bit bigger, where you can actually drive around in the city for a little while. It's not just a road in and a road out and one parking spot, which is nice. Am I speeding? A little bit. So we're probably gonna get a discoverable here as well, on our way. No, it's actually on a side road, isn't it? Eh. You're... Oh, wait a minute. Is this not going to be... I think we're allowed to sleep here as well. We'll see. It's only the tires, and it's only regular wear and tear. 5%. And they had to make a fuss about it. I thought maybe I had a collision that I forgot about or something. This is insane that they complain about that. I mean, imagine if we're actually driving from Sweden down to Turkey. Should you stop like 10 times on the way just to fix 1%? Ah, that's silly. That is silly. Maybe the trailer I got was busted. Hmm, I should have done a inspection myself before we picked it up. It was a mistake. Uh, I think we should be able to sleep here. Just around here. Yeah. <clears throat> Just gonna blow my nose. Ah, all right. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. Nope. Do that. Jump. Uh, let's check the regular jobs, I guess. And Istanbul. Could make a nice little trip over here and then maybe get all the way up here. But then again, we can also look for... I can't see on this one. I think it's around these parts uh, where we wanted to go. If I actually want to do that, we'll see. Yeah, the prices are dropping here. That's a short one. Yeah, that's not very well paid, I guess. This seems strange, because this is top one. Payment per distance. That seems to be half the way that this is. But the payment for this one is three times as much. I feel like that doesn't make any sense. It's basically a double length, but three times the payment. I 
I mean, it is, it is what it is. Per kilometer an important delivery. Which, this one. The spread out cargo and it's standard delivery. And this is just standard delivery. Yeah, I'm just saying that this doesn't feel like it's... The price per kilometer doesn't seem correct. Can we tell the distance? This is 481, no? This one is 194. Okay, it is more than two times. Yeah, it is basically three times. So I guess the map is really hard to tell. Distance is on. And I guess this little turn we make right over here adds way more than we thought. But just using my eyes and estimating, I would say, okay, this is double but triple pay. All right, let's do this one. Uh, let's see, we just slept, everything is fine, and it's a short drive anyway. Kind of annoying making a short drive because then we're going to need to sleep again. Let's maybe do this. Take a longer one. 8 hours and 31 minutes. We might actually be able to do that in one go, but if we can't... Well, we have to. Yeah. Don't have a lot of time to do this, actually. And you have toll stations, yeah. This could actually be rough then. That is not a lot of time. I'm just saying. Let's say 8 o'clock. So 4 o'clock we should be able to make it to you. Uh, we should have enough time, but we cannot sleep. I'm just going to see how much time we actually have when we're completely fresh. Uh, it doesn't show. There we go. 10 hours. 11 hours. Okay. Well, I should be fine then. I also need to pick it up though, but that's fine. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with taking this job. I kind of want to take one where we don't have to uh, risk the next one uh, having a sleeping session. So I just wanted to do one that just fills our entire day. So even if we're not getting exactly to the spot I want to go to, that's fine. Either we can drive back or we can just do that sometime else. And this is close enough. It's just 15 minutes away. Uh, the pickup, anyway. Also glitching textures on the ground. First time I've seen that actually. Oh god, no, 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 Jesus. I got confused. With the gears. Um, here, I think. Always tricky when we get close, like the, the roads that close to each other. More 
more glitching textures, what the heck? Every single red light, okay. I was about to say, every single red light we've had, there hasn't been a single car driving on the road that has green. Well, there was a police car right now, but yeah, very few. And now we're seeing very, very few other cars. Which is surprising since it is a big city. But that could also be the case, or the reason why we're seeing few cars, because it is a big city. And they're spawning in in different places. <clears throat> and they have a lot of road to uh, travel on, maybe. What's he doing? Hmm. Suspicious of that guy. Uh, yes, and we're still looking good time-wise and everything. Yeah, we actually got longer time now. I don't know what this why this changes. That was 9.52 or something. Why does that change? I don't get it. Maybe it's always the same time, so maybe you never need to think about how long you actually have to the pickup place. Because I feel like it's just shifted like 15 minutes, the same amount that it took for us to drive over here. That's a little, little bit lame if you don't even have to think about that. It's adding until I pick up the trailer. Yeah, that's a little bit silly, I gotta say. Wait. No, this is the correct side, I think. I cannot be certain. Maybe I'm supposed to pick it up from the other side. We'll see. I'm kind of missing it. By a lot. Okay, this has been a good attempt so far. The camera is going a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm, what? The, okay, let's just start over. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I see what's wrong. Okay, yeah, I got both my camera modes on. Uh, that's what's making it troublesome. I think that's actually what fucked me up here as well. Because the camera wasn't moving as I wanted to. Try number 48. It's actually pretty hard to line, uh, line this one up. We could probably cheese it. Let's see if we can do that. That's good enough. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I mean, technically, you could do that. Attach it from uh, the side like that. No problem. This car is still parked on the side there, in the wrong direction. That feels weird. Yeah, it's just parked there. With a window down. Hmm. Very strange. 
And there was actually not a window down. It was just a shadow. That's a different thing. I think they're dealing drugs. That's where I stopped. Okay, now we're seeing a little bit more traffic. This feels more natural. Come on. There is no traffic. You can drive. Please don't give me a ticket for this. I do have the more forgiving yellow light, so it should be fine, I think. Okay, I gotta watch it a little bit with this trailer. Could be that we're clipping a couple of corners, if I'm not careful. I think I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start breaking a little bit earlier. And just trying to keep some speed up, so we don't have to come to complete stop. I think that's the strat. It's not 50 here. Uh, it probably is. But apparently no more. I still think that this game looks like it could be good as a battle royale map. Some of these cities probably wouldn't be uh, too bad. Trying to do too many things here. <clears throat> what is it, 8 day or 7 day? Last time we saw any signs it was 7 day, but it could be 8 day. It's even 90 or 100. Yeah, I'm yeah, it's probably 100 for the regular traffic, so presumably 80 for me. There are cameras, so I shouldn't be speeding.
also police car up on the or what is it uh, the bridge I don't think they're scanning for uh, speeds though And I don't know what has changed, because the game is just running way better for me lately. I, I wonder if it's the updates we've seen in the game, or if it's one of my graphic driver updates that just fixed some issues. Because I'm actually dropping, or I'm missing, or skipping 0.0% frames in OBS, which is really good. So it could have been one of the graphics drivers we had uh, when I started playing this game that wasn't working well. And I mean, after I started playing it, I've added mods, which should potentially make the game run worse. Not necessarily, though. And I'm also using uh, the face tracking software on top of that. Splitting that into two different cameras. One for the face camera and one for OBS basically. Can you? Okay, let's let him in. So I'm using more power up from my computer uh, but the game is running smoother. That's not <laughs> every day that happens. One of those beautiful sunsets. Always nice. Uh, don't drive into my back, please. <clears throat> that is why it should never be allowed even to uh, pass on one on the inside. I mean, obviously I need to look before I'm just swapping lanes, of course. I should never have to worry moving into the right-hand lane. And I think we checked this out, because obviously I don't know how it works in other countries. Uh, but I think we saw, even in Sweden, where it's not allowed to pass on one on the right side. I think the AI still does that. Could be that they're just reckless drivers. Sure. But I think it's just programmed that they're either way they can pass you. Eh, they're gonna do it. Um, and maybe it's allowed in most countries and maybe that's why they just have a standard logic for that. But it seems strange that it wouldn't change the behavior for that. Maybe it's complicated to do, who knows. I mean, everything else is very specific for countries. Speed limits, road signs, uh, scenery, all that. Okay, we're doing fine, but we're gonna have a couple of um, 
tolls to pay, some checking to be done, and some weighing to be weighed. So we're probably gonna not be looking good for time all the way here. And hopefully we're not crossing two country borders. I think it's just between Turkey and whatever country we're driving into. Is it Hungary? Bulgaria? Bulgaria? What is it called in English? Bulgaria? So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The weighing. I know. Please use the rightmost lane. Okay, the game actually tells you. I guess I missed that before. Why are you not... Why wasn't this two lanes? Go, go. Okay, they're not complaining about my truck this time. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you driving so slow? Hmm. I think there was a loading zone here for the game, and I think the AI actually couldn't see the roads. I think that's what happened there. That's kind of interesting. Because the game just chugged for one frame and then it started uh, driving fast. So I think it had nowhere to drive. Did we cross a border right now? No. I don't think so. That was way too smooth, if that was the case. I don't necessarily need to be speeding, but this guy was driving super slow though. I cannot imagine that it's just 70 here for us. That cannot be the case. <clears throat> Could be they were, maybe it was just struggling with the hill or something. This one I don't know if it goes up or down, okay, it goes down to 70.
Uh, so I have been looking for a mod that gives you a little bit of a grace period coming into uh, speed limit change. And we haven't actually... Well, we have gotten some. I guess as long as you start slowing down a certain amount, you're fine. I think if you pass without having even touched a brake, that might be bad. So I think I've just gotten a little bit better at uh, kind of predicting what speed we're coming up to. <clears throat> Achievement progress, ranger. Whatever that means. Traveling quite far. Why does it want me to go in the left lane here? I don't know. I think I'm good to go, unless I'm driving in the right direction here. I think we're fine. Yeah. Oh, that was a way station. I didn't even know. I didn't even freaking know. So yeah, I, I've yet to see in, in the actual game world what the signs look like. Maybe there are none. Maybe you're just supposed to know. <clears throat> I'm kind of grateful that there actually is a truck up ahead of us here because I can kind of just follow him. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky knowing exactly where to drive in these areas. So that might have been a fast lane. I didn't see a passport symbol on the right hand lane here. I think we need to do this. Should have gone in the left lane since this one was still closing. I don't think we lost any time there. Oh, we're in the very wrong gear. Holy crap, so many checkpoints. It's absolutely absurd. Just open it, please. But wait, there's more. X-ray inspection six. Oh, okay, didn't even know <laughs> we were doing that. Are you driving? Forty thousand kilometers. Yes. I don't know. For a real. IRL truck. When do you um, when do you retire a truck? I'm gonna. F yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow this truck. He has not led us astray yet. Oh no, I stopped short. 
Come on. Hand over the papers. Darling, you got your passport with you? Do you? Nice. Yeah, what the? What is going on? I thought I was going to crash into that uh, lamp or whatever it was in order. It was a something. So I turned left, but there was a freaking curb. Well. How many gates can there be? This is just pointless. They're not doing anything. They're just letting me out, you know? Might as well not be in a gate. I think we can get past this guy. What? Why are you s slamming into me? Are you insane? We were driving alongside each other, coming out from a lane each, and he just slams right into me. Is that normal? No. Is it supposed to be like that? No. Does it happen still? Yeah. What the hell? Absolutely insane. Now I'm shifting to the wrong gears. That makes absolutely no sense for uh, the logic. Why would he do that? The only thing I can think of is that when we're coming out of our our gates, the road becomes one lane only, and he's just trying to go to the right side of that, but why would he just ram right into me? They're so careful when they're uh, driving in intersections, and they stop when they don't have to. In some cases, they just fucking don't care. Well, we didn't take any damage, so... Why? There was some fine paid, wasn't there? I don't know why I got fined. So if I take a car and just drive straight into another car, the other guy is gonna get a fine. That doesn't make any sense. You see someone hanging on to their trucks to over one million kilometers, yeah? <clears throat> Did anyone catch what we uh, got fined for? Was it a vehicle offense, crashing offense, or whatever it's called? Because I feel like I did nothing wrong. We're coming out parallel. And he just rams into me. I'm just driving straight. I'm following the edge of the road and he just slams right into me. It makes no sense that I should get fined for that. From a realistic standpoint, I mean. From the logic of the gameplay, I kind of describe what I think happened. Which still doesn't make sense, it shouldn't work that way. It was a collision. Or maybe he paid me, was that it? Maybe I got money from that. But we didn't take any damage, so I don't know, maybe he took damage and we paid him. Seems silly. Another thing where I might need to go back in the VOD and check that. Every the last four weeks, there's always one little thing happening where I don't pay attention to uh, why it happened or what. But I never go back and check it out, which I should, to learn. I did pay, yeah, that's so stupid. 400 euros! I guess I should become an asshole instead. Just ram into people and get paid for 400 euros every time I do so. That's a good plan for my future. Can we translate that into real money, please?
Oh, it's ramming time! Couldn't catch up to him. Is there a replay system for this game? Where you can uh, maybe record your trips or something like that? Well, I mean with the in-game uh, mechanics. So you can maybe look at your trip in third person or whatever. Because I want to see why he did what he did. Because I definitely feel like I did nothing wrong. I was kind of racing him. I did see that the road became just one. Uh, but still, they're usually very cautious. They, I... Uh, well, I say usual, but no, it's a 50-50, it's always a, it's always a gamble if they're going to behave <laughs> in a good way or not. Well, this stretch of road was not as exciting as I would have hoped. <sighs> I gotta blow my nose again. Uh, it might not be the longest stream today. I'm beat. I'm not feeling too well. But at least we got some driving in. That's the most important part. Not to forget every single little detail. doing super well what the heck yeah so once again this delivery was way longer maybe not way but slightly longer than the very first one we did today and since we've just been driving on a on the freeway it feels like it takes absolutely no time That's not the correct gear. It's gonna work though. Car, 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 car. is this thing? 18 tons. Yeah, it feels super heavy. I think a lot of times why some of the trailers feel heavier is probably because sometimes we do drive uphill without realizing it and we kind of adjust incorrectly with the gears and whatnot. So I think I'm kind of tricking myself to 
making it feel heavier. I wonder if there's ever going to be a point in this game where I actually know the roads well enough, not having to look at the minimap at all, and maybe not even relying on the signs. That's probably not happening. Probably need to look at the signs at least. I'm not doing it well enough. I usually never even look where we're going. I'm just following the minimap kind of, which I should try not to do. But then again, sometimes we don't have our destination on the road signs anyway, from the beginning at least. Uh, but it would be kind of interesting to make these deliveries in an area. If someone would create, you know, my uh, local area where I live and just drive those uh, streets and roads and whatnot to see how how much different it would be when you don't need to rely on a GPS at all. You just know where to go. I should have turned. Motherfucker. Yep, there are still certain uh, exits that I'm not seeing. I kind of saw it, but just a tiny fraction too late. Well. Okay, it didn't add too much to our time, so happy days, I guess. Can I see where we're supposed to turn here? Yeah. Alright, it wasn't too bad. <clears throat> We've seen worse. But... Why? How? Where? I guess... Driving in the middle of the road here so no one can pass me, either left or right. I think that's the safest bet here. Oh god. Oh, loading? Or something?
I think part of the problem also why the AI is ramming you, it is because they probably make their call at some point what to do, and then they just swap lanes super fast. They don't do like a natural uh, motion or movement really, they just instantly swap. So it always becomes a collision basically. I mean, if it's clear for him, it should be clear for me, right? Yeah. Well, if we make it all the way to our destination now without getting any fines or anything, I'm I'm making a executive decision here to call the collision was not my fault. So I'm not going to count it towards our incidents. So. But we're not we're not there yet. Things could still happen. Sophia. So let's see, our guy started yawning again. And now he started yawning at one hour, so... Why did he start yawning when we had two hours last time? It's a little bit strange. There's been a couple of weird things happening today. Started off with some really wonky traffic, and then we had the guy ramming us, and then... Meh. Also some GPS problems. It was showing all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, oh god. Well, now I'm behaving crazily, so... Well, this is not good. Uh... That was kind of hard to tell. Uh, once again, we're kind of tight with the time here. Let's see if we can do this. Not a lot of... Uh, that's gonna be tricky. Well, let's go for it, I guess. It looks like we have plenty of space on both sides here, so it could be too bad. Uh, can I remember how to do this? No. Kind of reached that point where it's gonna go in the opposite direction now. So I did screw up, I did. Oh, it's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. If I would have believed in myself. Now I'm not making the decisions. The trailer is in the lead. So now I can never save this, I feel like. Uh, because if I start straightening it up, I'm going to be the one just following the trailer. Now, why is... That's weird. I might have been turning the wrong way there. I think I could have uh, gotten that if I started uh, actually turning it the correct way. I got a little bit uh, confused. Just a little bit. Oh, 
Now, why? I'm barely doing anything. We're driving straight, and I barely do anything, and all of a sudden it just goes off to the side. Well, I was <clears throat> almost screwed that up. Okay, I'm gonna call it there today. I'm not feeling too hot. Well, actually, I'm feeling pretty hot, so, you know, that'll have to do it. Uh, almost leveled up as well. Great. Uh, okay, no incidents on the paper, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, next week we're going to do some more trucking. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better by then. Um, yeah, probably going to do some uh, online travels and some regular ones. A uh, good mix of all. And uh, where did we actually end up? In Sofia, that's correct. Uh, so yeah, we're still in pretty interesting all of this area and even further north. There's a lot of cool places. Um, and I'm probably gonna try. Okay, we're actually pretty close to this place where we wanted to go. So, well, we got a new chance uh, next week. How's my truckers doing? That's a good question. I have not checked in on them today. Probably shitty. Yeah, I feel like they kind of stopped evolving. Uh, the one we saw, I mean, we followed Martin the most in the beginning. And he, you know, we saw a steady increase. But then he kind of leveled out at 3.5, somewhere around there. He's doing something. He's picking up cargo or something. And she's she had a good development initially, but she stopped a little bit too early. And these guys are catching up to her at least. And most of them, or some of them, do have a trailer to use as well, so we'll see. They're bringing in some money, at least. <sighs> this is not okay, Isabella. We gotta stop doing that. Well, she did one really good uh, delivery right there. Okay, okay, I think we just caught them on a... This is semi bad day. Uh, because they're. Uh, I guess this is after I pay them or something. I don't know. Because all of this should lead to a way higher uh, medium. Well, that doesn't look too good. And that's just way higher than we see here. So I don't know. Well, that'll do it for today. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, the Witcher later on, and Tuesday and Thursday some PUBG early on as well. And hopefully I will feel a little bit better soon. Uh, but thank you for hanging out, and sorry for the short stream today, but I can't do it. So anyway, hope to see you soon.